Hey there friends, my name is Coach Jerome and today we'll be doing a 15 to 20 minute quick mobility session for our lower body. So mobility is very important for you to move in different ranges safely so you don't hurt yourself and you can ease into your movements, your daily activity um, without any pain and without any restriction. Okay, so these are the few movements that you do daily. Pick something up the floor or even trying to stretch and touching your toes. If you feel like your hamstrings or your hips, even your glutes are tight, it just means you don't have enough mobility. And sometimes even doing workouts, you might hurt yourself if you're restrictive at these points. Okay, so we're gonna jump into a quick 15 to 20 minute session just to ease out and to lengthen the muscles and stretch it out so that you can move better and do your exercises in a more effective way. All right, so let's jump into it straight. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump into the first movement. Let me just show you. This will be your world's greatest stretch. So you're gonna start with your hips and your knee Align shoulders and wrists align. It shouldn't be here or it shouldn't be here. It should be right here. Okay, now when you got this point, it should be stable. What you're gonna do is you're gonna kick your legs back and bring one leg forward. Go slow if you feel like that's too much. So just if you can't even get your legs up, kind of move it with your hands. Okay, so from here, you're gonna do this and you're gonna just mobilize your hamstrings and your hip area so drop it down and up okay just move it around a little bit before you jump into the world's greatest stretch so kind of move into it easing it out all right from here we're just gonna rotate our hips a little bit Right, even exercises like this will help you to move a little bit better. Before you start your workout, you can do these exercises as well. All right, so these are the exercises that will help you warm up into the stretches that we're gonna do today, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is a world greatest stretch. And then we're gonna move on to a more advanced world greatest stretch and then a more difficult one and then the hardest one so if these four exercises seem easy to you that just proves that you are good at your mobility and you have good flexibility as well okay so now the first one we're gonna do is gonna be 40 seconds so same thing right here world greatest stretch you're gonna just turn up turning your thoracic spine up getting your hands up and then back down now don't force yourself, if you can't really turn up, this is fine, slowly get your weight up here, okay, and then you come back down, switch legs, and up, alright, so we're going to start this for 40 seconds, okay, so there's 4 exercises here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to repeat it again, so 2 rounds, alright, so let's start with the first one, in 4, 3, 2, and 1, let's go, rotate, Breathe in, breathe out, switch legs, rotate, breathe in, breathe out, go back down. Take your time here, it's not a hit workout, so don't move too fast, just breathe throughout the whole movement because it's mobility. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more. And safely drop your hips down. So let's take about 15 to 20 seconds just to breathe and we'll jump back into the next movement. Okay, so your next movement is gonna be the same thing but this time your elbow is gonna to touch the floor and you're gonna turn back up, all right? really trying to open up the hips, the hamstrings and everything. There's a reason why it's called the world's greatest stretch. Athletes do it, people who lift do it, people who go to the gym should do it, before your runs you can do it. So this is a great 
warm up exercise or even a cool down exercise. All right, so let's jump into the next one. For 40 seconds, same thing. Now this time, you're gonna drop your elbows down and turn up. No worries if you can't drop your elbows down, just take your time, try to reach as much as you can. Even if it goes down to this point, slowly work your way to the elbows, all right? All right, 40 seconds starting in three, two, and one, let's go. Same thing, breathe in, breathe out. Do not rush your mobility section. It should be slow. It's supposed to open all your tight muscles and your restrictive points. At the same time, you can feel your core burning. That's a good thing because it is a workout on its own. So keep moving. And one. All right, that was 40 seconds. Whew. I'm definitely feeling it because I'm engaging my core at the same time as I'm doing. Now really watch my form. I'm not dropping my knees down to the ground, right? So my back leg is holding stretching it out you are not dropping your knees making sure everything is at control and you're doing it the right form now moving on to the third round sorry the third exercise we'll be doing a thoracic spine stretch with the world greatest stretch all right so what we're going to do here now it's just going to get a little bit more advanced as we go on okay so you're going to bring it here all right now from here, you're gonna go up and try to reach down like that, back in and down. All right, then you're gonna switch. Same thing, reach. So don't drop your legs down, keep it up. Stretch your spine and back in, back down and drop. Okay, so that is gonna be the exercise. Remember, turn up, try to stretch, do not drop your hips down, just try to stretch as much as you can and come back up. Alright, then switch. In three, two, and one, let's go. Go up, stretch, come back to original position, come back down. Switch legs. Keep breathing, keep your core tight and engaged. Making sure this knee does not touch the ground. And complete your movement, drop it down. So as you try to reach out, you can feel a little stretch on your glutes and your hamstring. Now that is a good feeling. Opening up everything from the top to the bottom. Okay, now moving on to the fourth movement. Same thing, we're still doing the world greatest stretch, but this time when you're here, you're just gonna drop your leg down and stretch your hamstrings. Go back forward, get it back up, switch legs, drop, hold the floor, stretch your hamstrings, and go back. All right, now the other exercise, if you feel that it's not feeling the stretch, what you can do is from here, get into a middle position, stretch and back in. All right, so either or, just to feel your hamstring stretch, whatever you feel comfortable with, go with that. All right, so 40 seconds in three, two, and one, let's go. World's greatest stretch. Come back down, drop your knees, stretch your hamstrings, come back forward, get your knees back up, switch.
last one come back forward keep the leg in great now that was one round of those four exercises we're gonna do that one more round okay take your time guys breathe breathe into your nose out your mouth and we're gonna jump into it again all right so there's no specific rest time here just breathe take about 15 to 20 seconds or if you need more 30 seconds would be great and then jump back into your exercises or your next round okay so not anything more than 30 seconds would be great all right now let's move on to the second round same thing world greatest stretch again this time i promise you you're going to feel a lot better when you do your exercises all right let's jump into it in three two and one remember your first movement the basic world greatest stretch don't forget to breathe in and out and done good moving on to the second one with the elbow and back up okay you should be breaking a little sweat here i'm feeling it i hope you guys are feeling it too so do it right you're going to feel that intensity that it's also an exercise at the same time all right move around a little bit breathe Let's jump right into the second movement. All right, in three, two, and one. Legs forward, drop the elbows up, back down, switch sides. That's it guys, 40 seconds. Okay, two more movements. Remember, this one with the stretch. Come back down with the stretch. That's it, okay? So take your time, breathe. Trust me, after this round, try to move around, try to do a squat. Try to do something you feel is restrictive for you, you feel difficult to do, and try doing it. Okay, go into an Asian squat. <coughs> this is an Asian squat. If you can go into an Asian squat or go into a lunge. I'm trying to move around a little bit. If you feel better, that's the benefit of mobility. Okay? So now, third movement, right into it in three, two, one. Legs forward, go up. Stretch, bring your hips high, go back, switch legs. Don't rush guys, take your time. When you're down here, try to open up a little bit. Last one, and down. Whew, that felt great, I love that. I hope you guys is, are enjoying it as much as I do. Now the last one is your hamstring stretch. Go slow on this one, you don't wanna pull your hamstring. Go slow, if you feel like there's a 40 to 50% stretch, that's good enough, all right? So don't try to stretch it too much. If you feel like it's too much resistance, 
don't bother moving too much just a little bit you feel like okay it's pulling a little bit go back in okay all right let's jump right into it in four breathe two and one same thing back down this time drop your hips and your knees stretching it back in get your knees off the ground switch legs all right for some of you you feel flexible you can try this This is a more advanced stretch. But do whatever that is your comfortability, okay? Drop your knees, breathe. And that's the end of your first part of your mobility session, all right? So quickly, let's jump into the next set and we'll finish up and you tell me, guys, and you tell us how you feel later on, okay? Let's go. All right, people, back into your sets. Okay, only two exercises here. We're gonna focus on the hamstrings, okay? The back part of your leg. This is your hamstring. This is your quadricep muscle, okay? They call it thigh, but we call it a quadricep muscle, okay? So at the back here, we call the hamstring muscles. We wanna stretch this one because every time we sit down, it's just gonna get shorter and shorter and shorter unless you're doing a lot of stretching at home or yoga or pilates this will actually benefit you in your flexibility okay so no worries we'll go through this two movements very slowly and you're only gonna do it for two sets 20 seconds each very simple stuff okay so two rounds now your first one is gonna be your l sit stretch now a lot of people try to do this or bend yourself at your upper torso as much as you can. No, we don't want to do that. An L sit stretch is basically in an L position. You get your chest up and flex your toe. Now this is a perfect L. If you can't stay in this position, you can assist yourself by putting your hands here and stretching your back and your chest up. Okay, so squeeze your back, get your chest up and point your toes. You can feel a little pull here in your hamstrings and that is going to get you to release and lengthen your hamstrings. Okay, so it's not too tight. Alright, so we're going to do this for 20 seconds first and then your next exercise, I will show you what to do. Okay, so first things first, point your toes, keeping your legs straight, bending, don't bend your knees, pressing your knees onto the floor if you can't hold yourself like what I'm doing, you can just assist yourself here, okay? So I'm gonna start with this, and then the next 10 seconds, so we're gonna do 20 seconds, right? 10 seconds, I'm gonna do this, and the next 10 seconds, I'm just gonna lift my hands and keep my chest up, pointing my toes, really stretching it actively, okay? So let's start with this, 10 seconds, in three, two, chest up, and let's start, point your toes. And now release, the next 10 seconds, just get your chest up, stretching your toes, pointing up to the ground. Two, and one, soften your knees. That's it, simple stuff guys. So all you gotta do is do that one more time, all right? So put your hands behind, push yourself a little bit straighter now, or a little bit more forward. Now some of you are pretty flexible, you can touch your toes or even get your hip down here. I can't do that because I'm not flexible that way. But if you guys can, go ahead. You can, you can touch your toes, but remember, if you're doing it, make sure you flex your toes and keep your chest up. There's no point doing this. You need to get your chest up as much as you can and then tap your toes, all right? So let's do that. Always keep your chest up, your back straight, all right? So we're gonna start with this again for 10 seconds in three, Move a little forward, two and one, let's go. Keep 
keep breathing, move the chest up and release your arms for the next 10 seconds, stay up, tighten your core, come on guys, 3, 2, 1, now, if you feel your back is getting tight and a little bit restrictive, okay, make sure you kind of move around a little bit to ease it up, or this exercise to stretch your lower back all right so it just means your core is weak if you feel it in your back you need to watch the other videos to how to strengthen your core so if the muscles here are loose and it's not strong and it's weak it's gonna affect your lower back and that's why people most of us have lower back pain is because the front area of your muscles are not strong okay so moving on to the second uh, part of the exercise is going to be your v-sit stretch okay so a little wide wider than usual just as much as you can from here same thing you're going to keep your chest up okay you keep your chest up now for those of you who can't stay in this position you can just put your hands behind like this and try to move as much as you can keep your hands close to your hips not too far out like that then you're gonna fall back okay so keep it close point your toes up same thing get it up and just stretch in this point for 20 seconds okay and then later on release and just stay up here for 20 seconds now if you can't hold yourself just grab the lower part of your inner knees and pull yourself forward with your Shoulders tuck in and chest up. Simple as that. Just get your chest up the whole time and sit straight. Use your core to tighten up. All right, it's going to be tiring, but we're going to do this for two rounds. All right, let's get ready. First one in three, two, one. Point your toes. Let's go. All right, release. Can't pull yourself, get your chest up, pull yourself forward a little bit, and release. Bend your knees, relax. Okay, I hope you guys are not too tight and not feeling it too much in your lower back. You just need a little bit more stretching if you feel your lower back or even your hamstrings getting a little fatigued. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Last one, guys. 20 seconds, open a little wider now, all right, place your arms, get your chest up, in three, two, and one, point your toes, breathe, try to fall forward a little bit more, put your chest up still, and release your arms, grabbing the inner part of your knees, Bring yourself forward a little bit more and release. Bend your knees. And that was it, guys. I told you it's gonna be a quick one. Now, remember, all these exercises are very important. This is a part of your mobility sessions. Now, before your workout or after your workout, keep in mind that you need to do these exercises as much as possible throughout your week at least three to four times to keep yourself a little bit more flexible and mobile okay you want to be mobile you don't want to be like a tree stiff you want to move okay you want to move like a leaf like water so that will keep you going that will keep your bones and your joints strong all right people make sure you guys are moving pain free keep watching these videos keep asking questions on your platform with your coaches and stay active all right guys i'll catch you guys soon take care bye bye